guys, today we are by the falls and we are looking at Flower de Vils. Um, not too sure how to actually pronounce it, but I do know it means uh, city flowers in English, at least. So this is uh, the Marilyn Monroe one. Hold up, we'll go around the side here. Marilyn Monroe one. Uh, obviously, when she filmed Niagara, she was here. So, so all the stuff. And yeah, this is the first one of, I believe, 30. So there are 30 of these. And yeah, here's the view. Now let's go find the second one. Alright, now from just down there where the Marilyn Monroe one is, we are at number two, and it's right in front of the Niagara Parks Police uh, headquarters down here. As you can see, right there. And this kind of just tells you about the floral arrangement. Um, it's one of the oldest police services in Canada from 1887. Which is pretty insane. Especially when it's legit right there to the falls. So that's super cool. Um, and that's who it was created by. Right there. Feeder Lower Farm. Yeah. And yeah. I really like this one actually. It's not too bad. It's super cool. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll go find the third one. Just as I was walking, we actually found a fox down here, which is pretty cool. Right there's the police station, and yeah, there's this little fella just out here. Pretty cool. Alright, so I'm supposed to be at the third spot, which is right underneath the Skyline Tower. Uh, it shows up on my phone right there, so there's a third one, but it's not here. So I don't know if it got damaged or whatnot, but it should be right about here. But yeah, this is Queen Victoria Park. Can't find it, so we're gonna move on to number four. All right, so again, number four, which is right there, right beside, uh, I think this is Queen Victoria something something with the Tim Hortons in it. There's the Skyline again, and then the Hilton right there, but it's, it's not where it says it is. I know where number five is though. I know five is there. So we're gonna go check that out right now. All right, so update. I did find number four. This is uh, the Queen Victoria one, right obviously in front of Queen Victoria Place. Which is pretty cool. There's a crown and everything. It's very, very cool. Now the next one is straight down the little walkway here to the right there so we'll be there in one second all right so this one is number five it is uh, the Bell Media phone booth which also is supported by the radio channels and it's right there right where uh, Queen Victoria is very UK uh, UK designed phone booth but it is super close to the falls and the next one is just right up there on top of the hill. So this one right here is number six on the list, which is an orange floral hoop in remembrance of residential school children. And today is actually September 30th, if it would focus. Right on the, the holiday that this is actually its first year. So there's the floral hoop. It's right on the illumination tower, which is right here. It has a beautiful, beautiful view. And as we go to the next one, because it's not too close, I'll just keep it all in uh, one shot right here. Up here is the new uh, illuminations panels. But if you guys want to know what the old ones look like, they're right up there. And before those LED ones got installed, that is... Uh, that's the ones that they used to use to illuminate. And I don't know if I can zoom in. Yeah, you can kind of see the four uh, little colored papers in front of it. And that's how they would change the colors on the falls. But now they're just done by these huge 
uh, LED panels. I do know um, number eight is right there. So number eight, sorry, let me zoom in a little. Number eight's right there. You'll obviously get a good shot for Instagram and such. Uh, so falls is right there. Which is super, super cool. So this one's the mini mansion doorway. Which, yeah, I think it goes with the name. I actually have no idea what this building is or what it was. But it is super cool. Yeah, there it is. Supported by Niagara Parks. And when you look in there, holy. It's something abandoned in there, for sure. I don't know if you can really see, but it's super, super old and like the roof is caving in. It's actually pretty cool. I don't know what this building is, but obviously it's the mini mansion doorway. And that's that one. The next one I believe is over by the falls, so uh, I'll cut and we'll go to that one next. So number nine on the, the list here, sorry, number nine right here is right at the Table Rock Center on top of the podium where they had the Canada 150 a couple years ago. And look at this rainbow right now. That is insane. Goes the whole way. This one's obviously uh, very, very popular because it's so close to the falls. But that one is number nine. All right. So that one there is actually number 10, which is the floral rainbow at the falls. I was looking for number nine, which is made of the mist mannequin. The focus is, come on. So I cannot find that one. It shows it right here, which is super weird. But these are outdoor florals, so maybe they did get damaged or something. But yeah, I cannot find uh, the Maid of the Mist. Now we're inside the new uh, Table Rock after a refurbishment, which is super, super nice in here. And uh, we're gonna go find number 11, which should be right up here. So yeah. All right, so update. I actually did find the mannequin. It is uh, right past the bridge from uh, Table Rock, which is right there. So she is actually indoors. She sits right there. So when you come here, if you are gonna do all of them, uh, on the other side of that building there, that is where um, the floral rainbow is. So you do have to go inside of the Table Rock building and go up the escalator and then come over the bridge. And she's in the little, uh, little clock tower, almost right beside the incline railway. And yeah, so we finally found that one. It's, uh, it's actually pretty fun. It's almost like a little uh, scavenging course, almost. A hunt, you gotta find them all. But yeah, just a quick point while I'm going to the next one, which is over there. Just check out this rainbow. It is intense right now due to the mist and uh, the sun is setting right now over, uh, over top of the hotels right there. So that's why we can see that rainbow so clearly. But yeah, it's definitely super, super cool. All right, so this one is number 13. Uh, actually, no, I'm corrected, number 11 which has these kind of bouquets going around uh, around these trees on the pathway to the powerhouse station that just opened, which is pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, they kind of just wrap around these trees here. Yeah. Super cool. And I believe the next one is it could possibly be in the power station and I don't know if you have to pay to go see it, but I'm gonna go check it out really quick and uh, see what's up. Okay, so we're right beside the new power station that just opened up with uh, the light show current inside, which we will come back and take a look at another day, which that building has a lot of, uh, it's still fully intact. You can kind of see through the door. Actually, you can't right now. There's like a cool light show going on right now. But this one right here is the Three Sisters Indigenous Mannequin. Which if you would like to read, you can pause, be my guest. Um, yeah, this one's right outside of the power station doors. 
sorry, let me zoom out here. I'm losing a lot of light. This does take quite a bit of time, so make sure you do have enough time to uh, actually do them all, or at least the ones you want to see. Make sure you plan them out, because it's, uh, it's quite a bit of walking. But this is super cool. They have lights embedded into the concrete along the whole rim, which is super, super cool. So here's some of the show times right there. It's going on inside. I can see the lasers in there, which is super, super cool. We will come back and do it. And uh, next year, I believe they are opening a glass elevator, which you can go into uh, the chutes where it used to discharge the water kind of right underneath the falls. All right, so if you were thinking about uh, actually going to Currents here, it is, uh, here are the prices. So 13 plus it is $30, which is, uh, it's a little high, but from six to 12, is, it is uh, 19.50 and it just opened. So we will have to check it out one of these days. It's just right there. All right, so number 13 is uh, the Floral Show House which is here all year round. But right now there is a private event which we can't go in. I'm pretty sure you do have to pay. Um, but if you are here for the flowers, this is definitely a stop you wanna make because they have huge greenhouses in the back here and you can just kinda of go and walk through and see all the flowers. And out here is also super, super nice. But yeah, this one's number 13, on to 14. Alright, so I had to backtrack quite a bit from uh, the Floral House, which is on the other side of basically this hill, all the way past the Queen Victoria one. Number 14, right here at the Starbucks here, um, right underneath almost the Skyline Tower. Yeah, this is number 14. If you can read. Oof, it's a little hard to read. There you go. Yeah, this one's sponsored by the Skyline. Super cool. Number 15, here we come. All right, so now we are at number 15, which actually, I believe, is a mini Skylon Tower, which is, we are really directly above it, or below it, sorry. But yeah, this is number 15 on all the stops, which is right there. And, uh, Hold up real quick. I know I said make sure you uh, make sure you have a lot of time because I'm walking, the sun is now setting. I've been doing this for maybe like two hours now and I'm only at 15 and I'm pretty sure there's like 24 or 25 official ones. I still gotta check on all of them but off to 16, here we go. All right, so we made it to the next one. Uh, 17 I believe. Which is, yeah, it is number, actually it's 16, my bad. Number 16, and there's this cool butterfly right here. And it's on the pathway right here uh, before you go into the Skyline Tower, which is super cool. So that is number 16. Now number 17, I believe, is just straight over here. So I'll catch you in a minute. All right, so now is number 17, which the floral butterfly is just that way. So if you come here along the pathway here, this is number 17. Cool little raft. And this is the walkway over into the skyline from the parking lot. And yeah, supported by the Falls View Boulevard Entertainment District. And that's who made it. So now, number 18, which is right up here. Be there in one second. All right, so right now we are at number 18, and it has all these little rose kind of bouquets in the trees. It goes around the whole uh, little walkway here that way, which is super, super cool. And then number 19 right here is the swinging mannequin. So she is there. This is actually a really cool one. I like this. This is, uh, this is very cool. Had to have been planned out too because they picked this tree for it to sit in, which yeah, it's actually really, really nice. Here are the people who made this one. So now, that was number 19, and we'll be off to number 20. 
All right, so this one is number 20. It is the Flower Mill Restaurant uh, Floral Patio Benches, which right over there near the skyline is where that forest was. And uh, this one is made by the watering can. These ones are actually super cool. I like these. These are very like, uh, very good for Instagram and stuff. And then here's a little history about uh, the old stone inn. It's pretty cool. And there it is, created by the watering can. So now 21 should be somewhere over here. And we're gonna go check it out now. And just around the corner from where the benches were, this is another one at the old stone inn right here, created by the same person, the watering can. It's, uh, it's in their little fountain. There's some more of the history, but this one's super cool too. I like this one. All right, so right down the street from uh, the Old Stone Mill, it's the Red uh, Red Glance Bake Shop. And this one, uh, you might have to come when it's open. I don't kind of want to intrude, but it is right there on uh, on the porch right there. Yeah, make sure to stop in and probably get a, get something sweet and uh, continue walking because you are going to do a lot of walking. That's what I've learned really quickly. I've been at this for a, a couple of hours now, but it is a lot to do in one day. So, uh, you know, maybe if you, uh, if you have a couple of days here or just pick out which ones you, uh, you like the most and then decide to do those ones because uh, it is a lot of walking. All right, so update. I did finally find it. This is number 23. It's right in front of the Holiday Inn. Uh, right off underneath almost the Hilton there. It's right across the street. So this one's number 23 if you'd like to come and uh, check out number 3. Number 24 is a floral heart which is in the Falls View Casino which is right across the street. So I'm going to go try to find that one now. Alright, mind the noise from the water right now. But we're right outside of the Falls View uh, Casino, and this is number 24. So there's the heart, it's right outside. And uh, yeah, it just tells you a little bit about the casino and that uh, it's sponsored by them. Right there. And the next one is, I'll kind of show you from across the street because they have these barriers up right now because they extended the sidewalk. But the next one is obviously 25, and it's a maple leaf, and it's right outside of the Hilton. So, if you're staying at the Hilton, why'd you wait for the bus? But, there is a maple leaf right outside the front door of the Hilton. And yeah, it's right there. Now we're on to find number 26. Alright, so here's the maple leaf I was talking about. Now the next one is actually inside here. So we're gonna go inside of the Hilton and check out the next one. And here is number 26, which is the Hilton Rainbow Mannequin. Which is in the lobby, or what was the old lobby? The new lobby is that way now. This is, uh, this is their mannequin. Super cool. This used to be the old actual little lobby here, but they renovated it and the new one's now that way. Yeah, there's our mannequin. So now we're off to number 27. All right, so now we are at number 27, which is the Niagara Floral Market stall, which is right across from the casino uh, parking entrance. And right beside uh, the fun zone here. And yeah. This is this one. It's like a, it's supposed to be like a little stand. Like a, you can kind of see like the fruits and stuff and the corn and the apples. And then yeah, super cool. Uh, now we're on to number 28, which is over right across the street, almost at My Cousin Vinny's. So now I'm outside of My Cousin Vinny's and this is, uh, Number 28, which is the floral bike, but the whole entire outside is really well done with these flowers. And yeah, the greenhouse is who made it. 
There we go. But yeah, like I was saying, just uh, the whole outside of here is actually really well done. And I like the whole, uh, I don't know, yeah, the neon sign. Just super cool. Super nice and like authentic. And the other one was just over across the street, but this whole entire little outside patio area is done, which is really, really well. It's really cool. And I like this one. So yeah, the floral bike which is the Vinny's floral bike. That's number 28. Now number 29 is Zappies, which is kind of across the street behind the building. So we're off to go see that one. So now this is number 29, which is at Zappies, um, a pretty famous pizza place around the falls. Um, it is the uh, Zappies truck actually that they decked out. Uh, the truck has always been here. Uh, but most of the flowers and stuff, that's all up there just for uh, for the show, which is pretty cool. Let me look at it. Yeah, this is right at the corner of Dunn Street and uh, Stanley. So yeah, there it is. Sitting right here. Super cool. Um, let's see here, where am I at? Sorry, don't mind the noise. We're uh, right at a super busy intersection right now. But yeah, this is number 29. It's, uh, it's sponsored by Zappies. See, it's been a favorite since 1971. Uh, quite a long time, actually, for just one place to be. So yeah, there's Zappies. We're gonna go to number 30, which is a floral bench and basket at the Comfort Inn, which I believe is right there. I'm not too sure, though. We'll, uh, We'll check it right now. All right, so I finally found it. I don't know why they didn't make this one, uh, what you call it? This one, number 29, because Zappies is right there. But this is, uh, we're right at the corner of, what is it, Main and Fallsview Boulevard, right almost underneath the Embassy Suites here. And yeah, this one is uh, another floral bench. Uh, so yeah. We'll be on to the next one right now. So right across the street there, that's where I was with the bench. And right here is number 31, and it's done by Urban Jungle. Right outside of the Oaks Hotel. Super cool mannequin. This one would be super cool for shots because the casino is right there and you get a kind of a really cool uh, style of shot. Yeah, this is number 31. We're off to go see number 32. So again, right across the street from the Oaks Hotel where that first mannequin is, this one's also done by Urban Jungle and uh, it's sponsored by Embassy Suites. So this one almost has like a, almost like a butterfly like wings on the back of her. Super cool, right underneath uh, the Embassy Suites here. And that is number 32. So next is number 33, and we're gonna go try to find uh, that one right now. All right, so now we are inside uh, the Marriott uh, on the falls, and this is uh, one done by Sunstrom. Right there, if you wanna read, you do my guess. But it's, uh, it's right inside. Um, this one's Marriott Falls View Bride Mannequin. So this one is supposed to be a bride. If you can see the whole back of the dresses of flowers, it's super cool. I like this one, especially when it's right underneath the chandelier. You get these super, super cool uh, kind of lighting on it, which is really, really cool. But yeah, this one is number 32, I believe. I just gotta check one more time. Uh, sorry, 33. So now we're on to number 34. So the next one is inside of the Renaissance. It's a floral bear, which is right here in the lobby. It's actually super cool. I like this one quite a bit. But these last couple ones have been indoors, so you do gotta go in between the times, which I believe the end is at like nine o'clock. It's 8.16, so I'm cutting this super close. And I started this a really, really long time ago. But yeah, that's where that one is. 
So now we are at the Marriott, right underneath the carport right here. And this one is number 35. It's a fresh floral bench. Uh, pretty cool, sorry, let me step back here so you can get a full look. It's actually super cool. And it is, uh, yeah, sponsored by the Marriott and Bloom & Co. is who it was created by. And when you guys come in, this is the final one. This is number 35 inside of the Marriott. And this is, uh, again, by Bloom & Co. It goes up the whole stairs. So you could get a pretty, pretty cool view here. I like that chandelier. Super cool. But yeah, it's just straight up the stairs right here. And that is all. That is it. I have done all 35 of them today. This is a cool little lounge area. Before I go outside really quickly. Um, but yeah, I did all 35. Let me check what time it is really quickly. It is 8.19. I probably started this at maybe like 5.36. So a long time. Not for the faint of heart if you want to do them all in one go. Or if you just want to look through the video and pick which one suits you best. Uh, that's probably another good thing you guys can do. But um, that's going to do it for me. 